What's up everybody, welcome back to Fast Ninja. Um, today I'm gonna be doing a live review of a new bait casting grill that I just got. Um, I just did the unboxing for it on a previous video if you guys wanna go check that out, I'll link that. But it is the Daiwa Tatula um, 100 HSL. Um, I'm basically just gonna go out and do some fishing. I'm gonna talk to you guys about the reel, um, all the stuff that I like about it, how I've seen it perform, everything like that. And if we get on some fish, that'd be cool too. All right, you guys enjoy. All right, so here's the reel. Just show it to you guys a little bit here. Got a spinnerbait tied on, Kitech Shad trailer. There's the reel. Move this out the way a little bit. Got some of their branding on there. This is the 7 1, like I said, 100 HSL. There's a drag setting. Um, so, normally this rod is going to retail upwards of $100, probably around $130 to $150, maybe, depending on where you're buying from. Um, so I got this from Facebook market off of a guy who had a couple of them that, um, he just wasn't using anymore. He didn't, you know, he upgraded some of his stuff. So he was just trying to sell. So I actually got this one for 75 bucks. As you can see, it's in pretty good condition for what it is. Um, the only thing is that sometimes when I reel it, um, I can hear like a little bit of geariness out of the side. That's really it. Like, see if you guys can hear it. It's basically nothing. Um, so it doesn't bother me at all. Um, so let's get into a little bit of the functions of the reel um, and the drag, the magnets, that sort of thing. Probably hear the pool behind me, sorry. <laughs> all right, so if you guys watch my spinnerbait right there, if I click this down, getting a little bit of drop if I want. The main thing with these is you wanna make sure you don't have a lot of play in the actual spool. Try to move mine around, you can see very little. If I wanted to, I can tighten these brakes up to where it doesn't even move at all. Most of the time for bait casters, you're taught that when you press the thing, you want it to drop down like a foot or so at like a slow pace. And that's usually an indicator that you're good to go for the reel. These particular reels are not really meant for that. Like I can throw it even with it having this like tough tensioning on it. And I'm still going to sling it like super far, right? But the main thing here is that my distance is just what's going to suffer a little bit for that. <coughs> so for these ones, um, it's not as intended for you to keep that super tight uh, tension when it comes to the actual magnets themselves because um, all you're really doing is limiting that distance and uh, like I mentioned earlier this is a 7-1 and I'm using a little bit of a heavier bait on here too since the spinner bait I'm using it with the trailer so I'm gonna click that as you can see it's not moving I'm gonna just dial it back just a little bit just where I start to get that drop all right, so now when I click it, there's my descent, right? Show you guys again, all right? If I let it go, I think it's just gonna keep on tailing. It's not even gonna stop. Um, so now I'm just gonna show a cast just with that. You can see how much more casting distance I got off of that. It went a lot further. Um, and so you can do that safely most of the time without really having to worry about, um, you know, bird's nest basically which is one of the biggest reasons why i got this i was using like just a really like low tier like just h2o express bait caster and it was just making me hate using it in general because i was getting it so tied up pretty much every time <clears throat> so it was super frustrating so i decided to get this one set go with something a little better um so yeah i run it with just a little bit less tension for like the magnets just to give it that slow drop um, so I'm going to show you guys the actual spool itself. So I'm not I'm not going to thumb this this time I'm just going to sling it out there like as good as I can and I'll hold it up to the camera so you guys can see I'm not even going to put my my thumb on it So my bait just landed zero backlash Even with it having that super loose uh, Tensioning on there. So that's one of the things that I'm talking about where you can run that looser tension as far as the magnets are concerned um, and you can still get that good performance out of it and you get a further casting distance too. Um, obviously it depends the kind of bait that you have on there. You might want to adjust it a little bit, but from a, what I've seen from a lot of different people um, online that have reels like this, like either this specific one or ones that are, you know, comparable to it, <coughs> uh, most of the time it seems like they're just setting it like once and, you know, they have a specific kind of bait they're going to use in that rod anyway. So they set it that one time they probably never touch the, the brakes again. Um, as far as the drag goes right here, 
if you guys I have it kind of like a medium setting I'm at like seven or eight out of the possible 20 and so I can mess with these and move around on those some and you know the performance isn't going to shift like too too much but I've just found that that medium position for this is like plenty for you know as far as drag is concerned and keeping everything in check um so you know as far as I can say you know so far with this reel and stuff I'm I got no complaints to be honest um I think it's really solid and going from like a low grade um, bait casting reel to this has just been like a world of difference to be honest like it's like it's like I've never used a bait caster before when I picked this up just because it just performs so well and so I don't really have anything but you know good things to say about it show you guys again I'm not even gonna lift that or thumb that thing I still do it out of instinct just about every time just because I'm traumatized from that previous reel that was really bad but you don't even really need to and so I feel like for reels like this it's kind of just like idiot proof if that makes sense um I have backlashed it a couple of times but the only reason that I did that is because I was being careless um in both of those scenarios I was just trying to skip a lure like underneath a tree um like a rubber bait and I was just an idiot and I forgot to thumb it as I was like making contact with the water and I'd you know try to rip it through there so you know obviously when it comes to that <laughs> you know you're gonna get some backlash but even if I send it you know super hard like even if I do something weird with the rod or something like that most of the time I'm I'm not really concerned at all which is not something that I could say before um so you know in my case paying $75 for this thing I feel like I got an amazing deal especially for the performance that I've gotten out of this rod so far um the actual rod that I have it on right here is just like a lower end uh, medium heavy um I'm getting a you know a better one for this this is just kind of what I my placeholder is going to be for a while just so I can kind of repurpose some of my other rods too just for fishing um but I mean even with really minimal effort of you know throwing this thing like on my next cast I'll underhand it a little bit so you guys can see even if I was underhand on this thing and just like barely barely even give it any force going forward it's still gonna send so I'm gonna show you guys I'm just only gonna use my right hand and I'm just gonna do a little low dip and pitch it right out that way all right so we're here I mean that's that's a decent casting distance and I'm not even really trying um so I mean you got to think if you're power casting you know a good strong bait uh on this thing you're probably going to send it pretty far um so I'm gonna just I'm gonna just sling this freaking spinner bait this time like as good as I can just a good solid power cast see how far out we can get so I'm pretty much clearing like just a little bit less than half of the distance between like this pond I feel like and I think I got a bit right there might be in grass um but yeah I mean only really good things to say about it y'all so I mean if you're thinking about upgrading and you're you know you're down to spend you know obviously I said retail is upwards of $100 if you're down to spend that much for a reel anyway and you're considering between this Shimano stuff or whatever all the Shimano stuff is good too my friend has the SLX DC so I've used that a little bit and just gotten like a little bit of comparison and it's an amazing reel too. Like I really just feel like Shimano and Daiwa, like um, some of the higher and lose bait casters too, like they're just good. They perform well. Um, you know, biggest thing for me was just like, I want to want to pick this thing up and use it. If that makes sense. It's like, I don't want to pick this rod up and be like, damn, I have to deal with this rod and hope I don't backlash. And now I'm down a rod, you know, on a kayak trip or whatever it might be. And so Whenever I pick this thing up, like, I would rather pick this up than any of my other rods now. Like, I just love, I just love using it because it feels so good. And I feel like that's, you know, if you can make an investment in fishing gear and, you know, that's the way it makes you feel whenever you pick it up and use it, then, I mean, that's a great purchase every day. And so, um, when we got this thing, I did take it apart, um, with one of my friends. We took it apart and kind of just checked out all the inside. Um, it looked like the guy that we bought it from had actually gone in and, you know, added some oil and stuff like that and, you know, just made sure everything was, like, cleaned up in there because it was really spotless. Like, we didn't even find, like, traces of dirt in this thing. So, you know, um, I really did end up getting lucky with this particular deal. Um, but, yeah, so that's really my thoughts on this um, in general. Obviously, if you can get it for $100 or, like, less, 
order that thing. You will not regret it at all. Um, I'm super stoked that I, you know, got it for the price that I did. Um, and you know, like I said, if you're already looking into, you know, getting a higher end baitcaster already, then this should definitely be on like your short list of options, either this particular one or the other um, higher end Iowa stuff. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a great setup and um, only good things to say, honestly. So uh, <laughs> I know I don't have like a ton of different comparison points, but you know, I've used several different kinds of bait casters, but you know, for me, 10 out of 10, like I have zero complaints with this thing at all. I've landed fish on it. I've yet to have a single problem with it. I, it's really hard to backlash unless you're trying to do it or you're just being stupid. So, you know, what more can you really ask for? And think cast a mile. So give you guys one last look at it side top and everything else like that but yeah um, that's all I really got to say about it, you guys so I'm gonna get back out here and focus a little bit more on fishing and less talking on this stuff but if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe to my channel um, check out some of my other videos and uh, fishing content as well so thank you guys so much for watching tune in next time